Well, I mean, you're almost like a personal Wikipedia about sunscreen. I think so. I think so. My family and I, over the last seven years, have physically tested 70 sunscreen brands. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, like your, your own consumer reports about sunscreen. I mean, you've really done yeah. that. And you know, how many kids, to remind our viewers? Right, I have four kids. Okay, and so literally every time we put sunscreen on, we have an A side and a B side. Okay. Because we're testing to see which <laughs> one works better and which one comes off in the water. Yeah, it's good to have the guinea pigs to, yeah. to, to experiment on, right? Yeah. yeah. So they're having a lot of fun. And obviously a very active and outdoor family that you mm -hmm. have. So sunblock and sunscreen, the difference between the two, from what you're telling me, sunblock's a no-no word now. Yeah, a couple years ago the FDA said you can't say sunblock anymore because nothing can completely block 100% of the rays. Mm -hmm. um, but we can talk about the difference between chemical sunscreen and, and mineral natural, sunscreen. Yeah, the mineral. And yeah. I, the, the SPF also, I mean, the, the, as a consumer you see a higher number, you think that's the one it's to better. go with, right? Right, right. So SPF 30 blocks about 96.7% of the rays, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. SPF 50, which sounds incredibly better, blocks 98%. Mm -hmm. It's like hardly, more. it's hardly any better. Right. Yeah. So really 30 and even 15 is going to do pretty good. It's going to do the trick. For you. Yep. But what you're talking about is natural. The, the, the big, if I'm, I don't want to steal your thunder, but is zinc oxide, that's yes. pretty much what you need to look for. Yes, yeah, right. if you just, it's so simple. Look at the active ingredients. If it says zinc oxide, you're good. If it says a bunch of long words you can't understand, don't bother. Mm -hmm. um, and here's why, okay. So there's three reasons you don't want to use the chemical sunscreen. One is that they break down in the sun. So that's why we're told to reapply every two hours because literally the sun is making them like bounce around and degrade into no help at all. Okay. Okay, so that's not good. Zinc never degrades. You can apply it once and it lasts all day. It can last the next day if you don't really? shower it off, okay. right? Um, number two, as it's degrading, chemical sunscreen is creating free radicals. And we hear that term a lot when it comes to cancer. Yes, we do. So you're protecting yourself from the sun and skin cancer and it's so scary and you're putting something on your skin that may cause cancer. Okay. Right? It's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of productive there. Yeah, and okay. it's absorbing into your body. Your skin's your largest organ, so everything you absorb, it's like it really is as important as what you're eating. And then the third reason, like, blows my mind. It's so scary. One full body application of chemical sunscreen has as much estrogen in it as daily hormone replacement therapy. Oh, really? Yeah, crazy, okay. right? I don't want that on my kids. Didn't know that. And it washes off while your swimming washes off and your shower goes into our water. Okay. Cannot be filtered by the best filter out there. So okay. that's going into my kids, too, okay. when everyone else is using it. So don't quit it. Don't uh, use it. Zinc not, oxide sunscreen. Not it's natural at all. Some of them are really, really great waterproof. Well, you can actually see the water, like, beating up on your skin. Yep. And so that's what we look for. Um, out of the 70, I only have five all right. that I love. Them. Tell us with those five if you can. <laughs> They're right over here. Okay. So Cabana, Relieve, Butterbean, Raw Elements, and Badger. Okay. Um, Badger is super easy to find. You can get that at Target, but you can order all these online. Um, and then the one problem a lot of some people have with the zinc is that it's a little bit white, right? You don't want to look like Casper. Sure. You want to you be looking yeah, good, strutting really, your stuff. It doesn't blend into your skin, mm -hmm. does it? So these blend pretty well, and also two of them, Raw Elements and Cabana, have a tinted version. So oh. for adults, that's awesome because you can, you know, you can fake it. You don't have to look. <laughs> you can <laughs> escape the Casper look. But, okay. but it's, they're really effective, um, and they go on well, and that's oh, why... Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's it's just, it's just like it's just like a like a deodorant. Yeah, like so you like use that like you for your face. Wipe and that on right there. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Mm -hmm. We test it a lot, and I would say they go on like paint drying or like white out. Like some that get really good ratings as really safe down mm -hmm. here, like mm -hmm. on this end, Kiss My Face and Goddess Garden. We hated because they're all clumpy and they won't rub in, and like it looks like you're putting white out on your skin. Yeah, nobody wants. So that. that's why I guess that's why. I love that we've actually like touched these because you can find a lot of reviews that say this is safe, this is good, these ingredients are good, you know. But to have someone who's actually put them on bodies and swam in them and run around and sweated in them, like that's why these, you know, 70 reviews are high quality. And that's why you need to go to Katie's website. You can check out all of Katie's reviews on what natural sunscreens work best mm -hmm. by heading to her website. As you heard, over 70 on her four kids, side A, side B, <laughs> legitimate testing of these sunscreens. Go to kitchenstewardship.com slash sunscreen. That's kitchenstewardship.com slash sunscreen. Thank you so much for the information, Katie. As always. My pleasure. Very informative. And now I know which ones to go with.